Razia is doing is part of a transformative process, a cultural process that we're seeing in Afghanistan that the Moors will slowly begin to change. It's really important uh, for people to understand that um, it's a very, very deep, um, really, wound that we want to heal. What we're talking about is a very kind of a paradigm shift. And, uh, and yes, so we are still in the midst of that happening. And that shift, I think, begins with education. And I think the issue of women's rights, the issue of girls' education, uh, not marrying girls off at a young age, uh, that is slowly going to change. And it's going to change through this slow, deliberate uh, things like what Razi is doing. I was working and then somebody came inside and said, you know, there are some men that want to talk to you. And I went out and there were four men, very well dressed, and, uh, and they came to me and they said, listen, uh, um, sister, um, we, have a, we have a worry. And I said, what do you want me to do? And he said, please make it into a boys' school. And I said, because the boys are the backbone of Afghanistan and, you know, they need this help. And I said, well, you know that the women are eyesight of Afghanistan. And I said, unfortunately, you all are blind and we need to give you sight to see where you're going. So he just, they turned around, they were so mad at me. They just turned around and put their shawls, they had those patus, and they just walked, turned around and walked went out of the gate. Well, it says to me a lot about Razia, <laughs> that uh, she's, uh, that she's uh, I think, culturally very savvy, and she's been able to present the school in such a way that is acceptable to the local population.